following the laws, the commandments of the Most High, to be obedient to Him, and by Shema Mashiach Kawashai. Right. Can, can I throw something out there? Because I keep hearing everybody say Shem. Shem is our ancestor. <laughs> we, Shem, I'm just saying, you know, Shem is our ancestor. Can we say Shem? Everybody say Shem. Shem. We're going to get this right. By Shem, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach. You might not be, might be reaching a Mashiach to go to the bold side. We say a Baha Shom, a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Cut? Shom, right? Shom? 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 Hear that ah? If you don't hear the ah, then you ain't saying it right. Cut? Cut? So, I mean, uh, it's very important. You know, it's, it's our language, so why not, you know, do it right? You know, because they Shem, Baha Shem. H-E-E-M is our ancestor, so we want to make sure we said H-A-A-M. Sham! Sham! But I, I want to, if, if you don't mind, I want to read uh, something concerning Mashiach Kawashai and what was asked, asked of him in uh, John 12 and 29. And we're going to uh, look at that first. You want to read that? Yeah. John 12, 29. St. John, chapter 12 and verse 29. So like it. Before you read that, read he, uh, uh, Colossians 3, 17. Because this is what we're about. We're about keeping the laws in the most high and having faith in the Mashiach Kalashai. Right. You understand? So uh, there's a lot of, this what, is what we got, this is our foundation. It's Mashiach, Yashirah, read this. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. Fine. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shah, giving thanks to the Most High and the Father there uh, and the Father by him. So that's how it's written. So Ephesians 5 and 20. Because where we read it is. What's up, that doing word of deed do all by Hashem on Mashiach Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to the Most High by Hashem on Mashiach Yahweh Shai. And this is how we give thanks to the Most High. But see, let me, let me, uh, let me, let me get another reader so we, so you can see how we, we do it. And then that way you'll understand what, from seal of wisdom, uh, you, you know how to read it? Kind of, Ephesians 520? Yeah. Kind of. I got you. Because he said, giving thanks to the Most High for everything by Hashem Mashiach Kavashah. That's how we're going to do it by Him. It's very important spiritually that you see this because one thing I know and I have studied is how to make the Old Testament be the New Testament. The New Testament be the Old Testament. Was there because there was no new, there was no New Testament during the time that we read about the brothers. Ancestors in the New Testament. You understand? Con con that, was con that was compiled in 325, so read this. Giving thanks always for all things unto the Most High your house. How? Oh, and the Father, in the name of our other one, Yahweh Shah, right, so, right, so I'm still not getting it. So can I can, can you read it for me? Uh -huh. It's very important because it's written like this, but you got to hear what it's saying and the power that's there. The spiritual power that he's given us in what he's saying here. Read that. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. And it's just, okay, we went to two readers, so now we're going to go to the third reader. Let's read it. Giving thanks always for all things. How? Unto the Most High and the Father, Baha Sham, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Right. And that's how he said giving thanks to the Most High by him. That's how we're going to give thanks to the Most High because of John 14 and 6. Be done. Because he's telling us, he's telling us, he's giving us directions. But you got to think in your mind, when you go into this, you got to think, your, is there any New Testament? There's no New Testament, so we only dealing with what? The law and the prophets. That's it. Huh? So when you have your mind there, and when you look at the New Testament, now it's got to make sense for what it is that they had when he walked the earth, which was what? The law and the prophets. Okay? Okay, read that. St. John chapter 14, verse 6. Come. Hamashiach Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way. He's the way. The truth. The truth. And the life. And the life. So, 
Everybody know the truth is what? The law. The law is right. So my shall got a shot of the law? Come on. How? Because he is the law. He huh? Is the word. He is the, he's the law? He's the word. He's the word. But that's not the law. Is it? Yes, it is. You know what I mean? The whole word is the law, if you put it like that. But I'm just saying as far as what he's saying, when you understand what he's saying, get a, a, a Psalms 119-142 real quick. So we define the law, what the, what the truth is through the law, right? Let's read it. Psalms chapter 119, verse 142. Right. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law... Is the truth. So the law is the truth, right? right? So when you go back to John 14 and 6, as I said, it has to make sense. So when you read John 14, 6. St. John chapter 14, verse 6. Hamashiach Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So he's the way to show us how to follow the truth. That's going to lead to everlasting life. God. He's a way to show us how to follow the law of the Most High. That's going to lead to everlasting life. Everybody with me? Come on. So this is how you have, it has to be dealt with in this matter to see the significance and the power that's here. What else he said? No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So no man gonna come to the Most High except for by him. That's why he said in verse 13. This is the spiritual power that you can understand that we have if you tap into it, you'll see miracles. You'll see whatever it is that you desire. If you believe and don't doubt, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Gotta believe it, man. Read. St. John chapter 14. I'll give an example right here. Some of y'all might know me of old. I couldn't breathe. Con. You remember? You remember? I, I couldn't breathe. Straight up. I had a hard time really breathing. I don't have that problem. No way. Hallelujah. The most high. Ain't no doctor to do nothing. The most high. But I show myself, y'all. Read. St. John chapter 14, verse 13. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever ye shall ask, Bahasham Hamashiach Yahawishai, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. This is all for the. Most high being glorified in the sun. But if you're looking for something for yourself, then hey. You ain't thought about it, Mashiach Kavashak. Most people miss that. That the most high can be glorified in him. But you're gonna do whatever we want, answer our prayer. But if you ain't thinking in your mind, what's what's in it for him? When you read that Bible, you better be looking for what's in it for the most high. First and foremost. He said, do this for me, better be doing it for him. This says the most high can be glorified in the sun. You see? And that's what it's all about, man. It ain't just about us. Most I don't need us. That's why he said, I can, I can make a nation out of you, Moses. I, I'll build some stones up to be my people. We need him to the utmost. Right now, the things that you're going down on this earth, man, we really need it. That's why we got to be together as brothers, man. That's in right. unity. Right. You see what I'm saying? Regardless of what anybody say, they're going to all be coming, man. They say, where the unity is at, that's where they're coming. Where the government is at, they just where they're coming. When they see the unity, they see the things that's going to be happening. By Shama Mashiach, by Shama Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. What's got to be said wrong, right? Hey. <laughs> by Shama Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Because it's, it's, just, it's just a lazy habit, that's all, you know what I mean? That we got to correct. You know, that's the spiritual power. There's no man coming to the Most High except for through him. You see? Get uh, Now get uh, St. John. What did I ask? For? Mark, uh, was it 12 and 29? 12 and 29. Yeah, Mark 12, 29. Read that. Because it's very important that we see this because this is what it's all about, man. I think you said John 12. Hmm? John 12. You said John 12. Yeah, it was John 12. John 12? Okay. Shalom, Obadiah. Shalom. <laughs> Good to see you, brother. It's been a long time. John 12. Uh, no, I think it's uh, Mark. I Mark the right here. I just want to bring a few things out pertaining to uh, what it's really about, man. Read that. Psalms 
uh, say Mark chapter 12, verse 29. And the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Most High, our power is one. Right, so this is the first of all the commandments. Most people don't even know that. If you ask them what's the first commandment, they go to church, they don't know about this. But it's a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, telling us, Hear, O Israel, Yahweh, Allah, Hare, Nawa, Yahweh, Acha, that we say. That's the first of all the commandments. Now listen to what he said. Now he, he could go into the two greatest commandments. Listen to what he said, right? And thou shalt love the most high thy power with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. That's the first commandment that we love the most high with all our heart, mind, and strength. That's the first commandment, right? Verse 31. And the second is like. Namely, this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. We gotta love our neighbor as ourselves. So how you feel about yourself is how you're supposed to treat someone else. Uh. When you don't treat someone right, something wrong with you. Uh. As the brothers, you know what I mean? You can look at someone and say, dang, something's up with them, right? Uh. Because you start with self. That's why the Spirit gave me to look at self-examination. I look at myself and tear myself apart. Then build myself back up. And the same thing you deal with the brotherhood. You deal with, you deal with the same way, man. Love thy neighbor thyself, read. <coughs> there is none other commandment greater than these. No other commandment is greater than them. How we serve the most high and how we serve each other, brothers. This is what it's all about. Matthew uh, uh, 19 and 16. This is it, man. This is what it's all about. Say Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do? So he, they called him first, said, good master. So what good thing shall I do? So, I, you know, everybody, how you doing? Good. <laughs> everybody came up, that's something new though. How you feeling, brother? I'm good. Right? That's what he told him. He said, good master. What did he tell him, Read. That I may have eternal life. He said, what might I do, good master? That I may have eternal life. That's what this is about, man. I hope y'all in here for this purpose. 